9.05 so let's start um, for those who are late feel free to join anytime and watch this video okay so for this session we will be painting donuts okay so donuts okay so like my kids I also love eating donuts although I, I tend to limit also my <laughs> my donut intake because it's high calorie food Okay, so um, for this purpose, I even bought um, this donut right here. This is a donut from Happy House Donuts. The, we have um, an outlet near our condo. So I bought a box of donuts for, um, for of course, for us and also for um, painting, for this painting session, this particular painting session. Okay, so let me just demonstrate. My hands, my hands are clean, don't worry how a donut looks like so it's um round not perfectly so but it's round and then you have this um, hole right in the middle sometimes not really right at the center but it's in the middle and also it has this uh, strawberry this is a strawberry sprinkle candy donut so you have this strawberry um, glaze and then you have this uh, colorful candy sprinkles on top okay and then when you look at the side, uh, this has this color of the dough that is um, a light yellowish brown. I don't know how to call it, but uh, this, the closest color in watercolor is yellow ochre. Okay, so we will paint this particular donut and then we will paint another. We will paint a view of the donut from the top and a view of the donut from this angle. Okay, and I will show you how to uh, draw these donuts um, here, real time. Okay, let me just bring up, let me just take this away. My youngest son said that <laughs> I took the donuts away para di ko yung maguto, <laughs> which is true naman. Okay, so let me just uh, show you the, the process of how we will sketch the donut, okay? I have two right here, one that is viewed from this angle, this donut, and one that is top view, meaning you will see the perfectly uh, circular view of the donut and the hole in the middle. How we are going to render that in, um, in a painting, uh, I will show you, okay? I will show you how uh, your donuts will look three-dimensional, okay? So, just um, a quick sketching lesson, okay? Uh, Alright. So, for this first donut, we will be, we will be painting the strawberry sprinkle donut, alright? So, for that, you will need to draw oblong, okay? It doesn't matter if the oblong is not perfect, because, you know, uh, if you want your donut to look organic, it doesn't really need to be perfect oblong. Okay. So, let me just do that. So, you make an oblong. Right. Like that. Okay. It doesn't matter if you go to this uh, sketch a number of times just to make it a little perfect. Okay. And you will be using, uh, you need to use pencil and eraser for this okay I will go through the uh, record at uh, dito um, yung materials that you will need yung paint and the brushes in a bit let me just show you how I sketch my first donut so again I made an oblong okay, okay if you notice the lines are dark because I'm using um, 4B graphite pencil Okay, and then what you do is you sketch the top glaze. How do you do that? You just go over 
slightly go over the oval there and then sketch this swiggly lines to indicate that this is the glaze all right there you go and then you go over a little bit on top of your oval line the top section of your oval there you go all right and then for the middle it should also be oval there you go for the parents please guide your kids on how I'm sketching this okay and I hope you are able to see also how I sketch it again let's go through the process you draw an oval and then draw this glaze the top of the donut the strawberry part here and then draw the topmost part of the glaze just a little bit over the oval this oval line here this this line right here that's part of the original oval like that all right and then uh, let's let's put some glaze here at the middle part parang nag overflow yung glaze mo into the hole of the donut okay nakukuha so that is your first donut and then later we will paint a shadow on this at the bottom of the donut like so okay so very very light lang dapat yung sketch nyo I just darken it so that you will be able to see how I sketch. Good morning! I just saw your comment. Um, just uh, very lightly sketch the donut. Okay? But if you had sketched the donut with dark lines, there's a way to fix that. It's by, it's by um, using a kneadable eraser. I love using kneadable eraser because it's like, you know, playing with Play-Doh. So I use this to lighten my sketch okay for now um the you should be you should um erase your original oval that's on the top part of your donut okay so that's what i'm doing right now i am removing the original line the oval line here sa top side lang okay so medyo nabura ko din yung glaze ng donut but you can lightly sketch over that Okay, and then lighten your sketch by rolling your kneadable eraser over your donut. Very light lang. Para lang hindi mabura. Huwag mo murahin totally yung sketch mo. But you really need to lighten your sketch para hindi kasi siya mag-show sa iyong painting. The, the thing with watercolors kasi, uh, the watercolors are transparent colors. Okay, so when you when you uh, paint or when you sketch, uh, it doesn't really cover your pencil marks totally. While some people are not bothered by that, there are, there are uh, fellow artists who are bothered by pencil lines. So um, yeah, so for uh, for your art to um, to be more uh, neater, you have to lighten your pencil sketch. Okay, so if you can see, this is the original trace of the oval I have already erased that albeit not not completely but still there so that you'll see that this is the original trace of the oval and then this is the new newly sketched glaze for those who are late so that you'll know what I just drew here and then this is the uh, bread part okay of the donut there's also there should also be a sort of view of the um, of the original bread part or the bread part rather and you have to have a glaze that overflowed onto this middle part of your donut i hope you can see that okay i'm sorry i don't understand what do you what you don't have can you please uh elaborate hindi <laughs> ko makita yung ibang comments eh <laughs> kasi naka lazy pa ang aking phone yeah Ay, very good enough so my, my son is already sketching I, it's also sketching with me all 
Alright, so uh, for those who bought their kit from my shop, this is your watercolor that came with the kit. Alright, so you have black, you have Prussian blue, green, uh, it's deep green, crimson red, yellow, and white. So for the benefit of you, most of you who bought this kit, I will be painting with the same equivalent colors in my artist grade watercolors pal watercolor palettes. So you will be using those colors in your kit to mix everything, every colors that we will need for these donuts for this project or for this painting session. Okay, so I have here my um, my red. I also have here my white. My yellow is right here. I will just put it in the... I already put it here. That's my yellow. And then for black, I will be using... Um, what you call this? Paint gray. Okay? Paint gray. And I will put some here. There you go. So that's the beauty of having uh, watercolors in tubes. Because you can just, you know, pour the paint as needed. Okay, but you can also use uh, solid watercolors that are, uh, you, that usually come in pans like this. Then I also have the green, which is this, Winsor & Newton Sap Green. Okay, so pretty much that's all the colors that we need. We will need, so yellow, white, red, blue, black, or paint gray, and green. Okay, so six colors. We will be just using six colors. Now, uh, you're probably wondering if we're going to make pink donuts or um, strawberry glazed donuts. Why? Why do we? Why don't we have pink in our uh, palette, color palette? So the one of the purpose of this um, activity is to teach the kids how to um, mix colors those primary colors in order to come up with secondary colors or tertiary colors like pink right so we will do that uh, if you don't have needable eraser you can just use any eraser that you have with you okay that's fine and then um, when you are when you are using erasers like that okay I'll, I'll demonstrate uh, for example I have this eraser it's a little fancy, sorry, <laughs> because I I I I want I, I use this for um, erasing fine lines on my sketches. Okay, so when you when you have when you use eraser like this, you have to do it very lightly because you might destroy your watercolor paper, especially the watercolor paper that's less than 300 gsm because they're very thin. That's why uh, when I paint, I usually um, use um, 300 GSM paper. This one is 7 inch by 4.9 inch uh, student grade cotton paper. So when I'm when I'm using thin uh, paper, for example, just for practice, I use a brush to brush off the erased uh, graphite as well as yung yung mga rubber na natira when you're erasing your sketches, okay? So, it, uh, yung needable eraser, ano lang yun, uh, maganda, lang din, maganda lang kasi talaga siyang gamitin when you are, uh, when you want to lighten your sketches tapos malaki yung area na makukover because you're rolling it versus yung mag-erase ka using your pencil, mas matagal kasi yan. Yun lang naman din yung reason. Wow, galing na! <laughs> My son is already painting his donut. Okay, so okay. So now, uh, if you have already sketched your donut, let's now proceed to uh, mixing um, yung bread, yung color ng bread, which is actually a little bit um, on the yellow ochre side. But since we don't have yellow ochre in this kit, we will be mixing our own yellow ochre. Okay, so how do we do that? We can use red yellow and black okay so please bring out your ye red yellow okay so let me just demonstrate I get my color using a wet brush and dip it in this watercolor in half pan 
this is a solid um, red watercolor but you can also pour your paint into a pan actually the kit comes with with this wells so you can just uh, put a little bit of your red paint into say this well and then put some yellow and black okay but I would let me let me show you how little you would need to make um, yellow ochre okay so red now I will add some yellow okay from my palette okay see see how it turned into orange okay see how it turned into orange now that is not yet the color of your bread right of your donut bread so you will need to add um, some dark so this is where the black black color in your uh, in your set and the paints gray in my set will come in so you need you need some black in order to darken the color a bit now I don't like this color Okay, so this is not yellow over. So wait, I will adjust by adding some more yellow into this. Okay, so yellow and some red. Pa. Okay, until I am happy with my color. Okay. Okay. So I'm um, mixing the colors versus. Uh, getting the color straight out of a pan of a yellow ochre is actually very tricky but in order for you to learn in order for you to learn watercolor especially if you're new to watercolor you have to learn how to mix your colors first important when you want to learn how to paint okay this is starting to look like red color right simply by mixing red yellow and a little bit of paints gray or black Right, so I'm not yet happy with this, so I will let me add some yellow again into this until this is lighter. Okay, more yellow. Okay, so please teach your kids to mix the white, co uh, the bread color. This, uh, we will call this bread color, okay, because some of the breads will also have this color, not just donuts. Okay. So this is not officially yellow ochre, but I think I am happy with this mix. So let me just add some water into this well, and we'll add this color right here, right? Using just my mixing palette and my brush, okay? Because I want to dilute this with more water, kasi gagawin natin siyang first wash. Okay. So first wash, yan yung first layer ng watercolor on your painting. Okay? So we will paint um, the, the bread part of the donut using this diluted bread color. And then we'll start painting avoiding the section of the glaze, the strawberry glaze. So, dun tayo muna si ilalim. Okay? Use your brush, round brush, that came with also with your kit, to paint your donut. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, I love round using round brush a lot because it helps me paint in big swash or strokes like this as well as painting around tight corners and curves just like this okay were you able to mix the color kids don't worry um, mixing colors has a um, learning curve you have to do it uh, plenty of times in order to master color blending. And it's okay if the color of your bread is not the same as mine. That's fine. Totally fine. Practice makes progress. Okay? Right. And you also notice that I don't color my bread like it's flat. Notice na how I put some texture into the bread because... In reality, 
your bread will not look um, equally of this color on all on all ano parts, di ba? May iba na medyo dark, may iba na medyo konting sunog. Ganyan. Okay? So that is your first wash. And I just added some water to lighten the colors some more. All right? There you go. Okay. So sometimes your bread will have parang burnt part, especially dun sa bottom where it touches the pan, di ba? So, we will use this original bread color that we did, which is more diluted, as which is which is more color. Let's just mix that. The thing with other artist grade colors and some student grade colors, uh, the colors the colors tend to separate them. So, you need, you need to uh, mix it again using your brush. And then, let us... Just drop the colors at the bottom, like what I'm doing now. See? See how the colors are moving? Diba? It's a little darker na on the, at the bottom side. And then, lighter siya sa top. Okay? So, um, diba yung donut? Okay, I haven't told you, but the light for this painting should be coming in this uh, from this direction from the top okay since medyo makapal yung ating glaze since the the glaze part is a little thicker than um than the actual uh, volume of the bread uh, when a light hits this um this glaze magkakaroon siya ng shadow it will have shadow right underneath your glaze diba very thin shadow lang siya so, to make uh, this donut look um, 3D, 3-dimensional and not flat, let's add some dark bread color underneath, just underneath the glaze. Okay? Here. Okay. So, see? Meron ka ng, meron ka ng gradient ng color where you have this dark shadow cast by the glaze, the strawberry glaze, plus this burnt section of your donut. I will add some more sa bottom, just to further emphasize that this part right here is a little burnt. Okay? Para hindi magmukhang flat yung donut mo. Okay? Are you, I hope you're following me yet uh, so far. Okay? There you go. See how the donut is lighter? the bread part, lighter yung color niya sa middle and medyo dark sa ilalim ng glaze as well as dun sa bottom ng donut mo. Okay? And we only use this bread color so far. ba? So, yun yung reason bakit nagkaroon ako, bakit ko ginawang may diluted, diluted meaning uh, nilagyan ko siya ng maraming water and meron ding, ito yung ano, yung uh, original na bread mix natin. <laughs> bread mix, you know? Uh, red color mix. Okay? Again, I used yellow, red, and gray for this color, but you can also use your black dun sa palette mo. Just, just a little bit of black. Huwag masyadong madami. Okay? So, don't throw this, um, this mix because we will be using that also for our second donut. Now, you're wondering, how are we going to mix? You're probably wondering, how are we going to mix um, pink? It's very easy to mix pink. Just add red in another mixing well. So, if you have, if you have this mixing well, just add red into another clean mixing well. And then, you probably guess it already, let's add white. Okay, there you go. Now you have pink. Okay, now you have pink. Now the thing is, since the light is coming in, since the light is coming in from the top, your glaze will be lighter where the light hits it. Diba? Magiging lighter siya. So, when we paint our donut, especially kung first Ano pa lang siya? First wash, meaning first layer. Add some more water here lang sa side. Here. 
Let me just show you how I do that. Dito lang sa side. And then, itabi mo siya doon. If you don't have a mixing palette like mine, you can always uh, use this. Add your red and white here. And then, get that color using your brush and put it here. And then, add some water here. Okay? So, now I have light pink and then the original glaze uh, pink that I did but this one right here that I'm mixing is more diluted with water so when I add that here sa donut natin let me just show you how I paint donut the, the glaze part okay so one layer swipe it across your glaze lahat ng part na may glaze swipe natin brush, uh, lagyan natin ng very big na, na brush stroke using your round brush here, okay mas maganda kung isang stroke lang na ganun, but if you're not confident to do that just yet it's also fine if you do small strokes, deliberate strokes okay, here okay, so as you can see, the, gla the glaze, the strawberry glaze is not convincing kasi very light pa na pink siya, di ba? Because this is just your first layer, kaya medyo light pa yung color niya. With watercolor, uh, you do it from light to dark. Okay? From light to dark siya. Unlike acrylic na you can do both ways. Pwede mag-start ka sa dark, pwede kang mag-start sa light. However you want to do it. But with white color, it's usually from light to dark. Okay, so the light is hitting the donut from this direction, right? So light yung etong etong part na to na tinatamaan ng donut. Let me just color yung nag-over nag-over na, na, na dito yung nag ano na donut. Yan here nag-spill here. And then I forgot to add yung color ng bread sa loob. But uh, later we will do that kasi uh, medyo basa pa to magmi-mix kasi yung brown and pink. Okay? So, let's now use let's now use this darker color na pink and color this middle and bottom part with darker pink. If you don't like your pink yet, you can just add red and white and adjust your colors. Okay? Here you go. And if you notice, I'm I'm coloring it in way na uh, in ways na hindi siya even, kasi nga um, the light is heating your donut, and usually yung glaze is uneven, de ba? Wala naman perfectly glazed na donut, especially kung mura na yung donut, <laughs> hindi siya artisan yes. May mga ganon pala. So yon. So dito sa section na to mas mara, mas lighter yung color. Pero dito sa section na mas malayo sa, ano mo, sa... Because your donut is uh, like this, di ba? So, curved siya. So, the, the, the color of the donut right at the curved section will be a bit darker. Kasi nasa medyo shadowed na section na siya. Ang tawag natin doon, middle tone. Okay, the highlights is right here. Sa kung saan directly tinatamaan ng ilaw or liwanag. Okay? Here. Okay? There you go. Now you have your donut. Okay, okay. Ganyan, okay. And then let, let, let us uh, allow that donut to dry. I can see some bloom forming here, but that's fine. It doesn't bother me at all. Let us let your donut dry a bit. Uh, we want to add some candy sprinkles on your donut but we cannot do that just yet because this is still wet if you apply the, uh, if you apply your sprinkles if you paint on sprinkles right now we mix lang yung color mo with your pink so we don't want that now let's go to adding shadow on your donut okay the shadow is here sa bottom because your light is coming from this direction right your shadow madali lang just pick your black color and if you have this well, put some black 
in your well and then add water plenty of water okay because you don't want a black shadow you want a grayish shadow okay so this is already gray so what I will do I will just paint it here there you go now you have shadow for your donut If you notice, I don't touch yung pinaka bottom ng um, donut mo, yung bread, because if I do that with a wet brush, the, the color will just bleed into the gray. Okay, so be careful when doing your shadow. Don't try, don't touch yung finish piece mo or yung bottom ng finish piece mo, because uh, the colors will just bleed out. So ganyan lang yung brush stroke. Niya. Okay. Now you have a shadow for your donut. Now, uh, this is almost dry, but I'm not happy with the color just yet. So I will add another layer of pink and white. But this time, the color will be a bit thicker. Okay, if you're already happy with your donut color, you can skip this part. But if you're not, then let's, you paint along with me, okay? So again, I will add more pink in my donut. Especially sa part na it's spilling over the bread. Medyo darker dapat siya dun eh. Kasi medyo malayo na siya sa light. Okay. There you go. This is still wet pala. So as you can see, the colors are uh, moving. If the colors are still moving in your art, that means your paints are still wet. So, yun yung tricky part kasi ng, ano, ng, ng watercolor. Uh, you cannot just add layers and layers of colors while the, the paints are still wet because um, mag-bleed yung color mo and magkakaroon siya ng hard lines. Okay? Now, since this is no longer even, I will just wet my brush with water. I will just wash off the dark pink color in water off my brush and I will just spread the colors here I'm pulling the colors from that using water clean water lang to see see how I am able to pull the colors away from that darker section of your donut yun yung maganda sa watercolor because you can do that hindi mo yan magagawa sa acrylic for instance ng basta-basta sa gouache, pwede rin yun this is what I love about watercolor kasi nagagawa mo yung ganito okay you can make your color light lighter by just adding water okay and then let me just color this spill of the strawberry glaze here yung nag-spill sa middle, sa hole ng donut. So, medyo dark siya because malayo na rin siya from light. Okay? There you go. So, see how uneven the color is? Let me just add another uh, diluted color of the donut. Or diluted, diluted pink, rather, of the donut. happier with this one compared to kanina na medyo masyado siyang light. The thing with um, watercolor, usually when they dry, they dry lighter. So, sometimes you need to wait it out and let it, allow it to dry before you can assess if the color of your donut or the color that you painted is enough. If the tint is enough. Otherwise, you can just add layers and layers of it so long as you um, wait for, for the first layer to dry or the layer of the Like this, medyo, uh, medyo hindi, hindi pa siya, hindi pa ako happy sa color nito. So, I will just uh, add some red color again into this. Sa bottom muna, because this is the darkest part of your donut here. Like I said, slightly burnt siya sa bottom. And then here, um, I'm just adding some shadows 
cast by the glazed hair. Okay, so that's how you correct the color. You just add layers. That's why it's better to paint light muna at first and then just darken it along the way according to your preference. Okay, so let's uh, soften that by adding clean water. This is just clean water. I didn't add any color into this brush. So clean water lang siya. There you go. Okay, and it's not even. You see how I put some textures using just brush strokes. There you go. And then you just let it dry. I noticed that my shadow is not as dark as I want to, so I just add some gray again into this, and I add another layer of gray. So that's the beauty about light uh, um, painting light first, okay? And also, often the shadow right underneath the object is usually darker compared to sa mas malayo from the object. So even your shadow will have mid-tones and dark tones. Yeah. And then with just clean water, I I pull that color down using my round brush and just water. I didn't add any more color into my brush. Like that, just to make it look organic. Para hindi mo kang ano, hindi mo kang pinagplanuhan. <laughs> <laughs> diba? Parang drawing sa mga biyahe. Mas natutuloy sila. Ay, mga ganong hugot, diba? <laughs> Ayan! So, now we have this donut. Let's just, um, let's just wait for this to dry before we add the color sprinkles. Okay? I hope you're able to follow pa. Okay? So, while we are waiting for this donut to dry, let me just show you uh, my sketch of the second donut. This time, we will be look, we will be painting donut top view. All right. So this is it. This is a top view of a donut. So basically, just a perfectly round circle lang muna yung ito draw mo. Then your middle, which doesn't need to be perfectly circular because oftentimes, uh, hindi naman talaga siya ganun ka perfect in circle. And then the cast shadow. Because the light will be coming in from this side. See, I have my, my note there. The light will be coming in from this side. Therefore, the shadow will be cast on the opposite side. Okay? Nakuha nyo? So, it's a round donut. Top view. But the light is coming in from this side. From the right side. Going towards that direction. Okay? So, there will be cast shadow in the middle of the donut where the hole is and right here at the rim at the left side okay so in order to um, sketch a perfectly round circle you can just use your ta -da! glass or cup okay you don't need a compass to draw a perfectly round circle Okay, so you don't need a compass for this. Just grab your cup, teacup, or your glass that you use for drinking and just draw a round circle. There you go. Okay. Are you following so far or still painting your pink donut? Can you please type 1 if you're done with your first donut? I will wait for your comments. Before we proceed to painting the second donut, type 1 in the comment section please just so I know that you're still <laughs> working on this or <laughs> you're still there. <laughs> I'll wait your comments. I'll just grab a water because um, I'm parched. This is my son's work, by the way. Here, 
he painted the donut by himself. I was not able to watch him do it because I'm doing this live here. Just for your inspiration. I know your kids will, def uh, will, will be able to do this, probably even better. But I love how my kid was able to do this without me. <laughs> okay. Here. So continue painting that second donut. So okay, type one if you're done painting your first donut. Okay. Right, so may nakagawa na. Congratulations. Okay, uh, I will announce my contest now. Habang naghihintay tayo for others to finish their donuts. So, uh, I am going to run a painting challenge. It's not really a contest, but rather a challenge. Okay, because I'm teaching the kids how to paint donuts, uh, I will challenge them into painting this one. There you go. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, uh, five, six. Majority of the donuts are partial. Okay, so I will post this on the group and I will. Um, I will post the, uh, the, what they call this, the challenge mechanics. I will give uh, you mommies and the kids one week to submit your, um, your entry in the comment section. Um, and then, winner, uh, we I will be asking my artist friends to judge the best artwork. It doesn't need to be like this. Huh? It can be any donut that you want to paint. It can be different mixed donuts. That's fine with me. Uh, what I will do is we, um, you will uh, what you should do is paint this I'll give you a week to do that and then uh, post your child's output in the comment section all right and then I will ask my friend I will give them three days to judge each uh, artwork and the best artwork according to my judges um, uh, what their judgment of course is will we I will win uh, art stuff from me everyone who will join will get free ebooks from me about watercolor so wala talagang matatalo everyone will win it's just that the best artwork will get a prize for me i am still i am still um deciding which uh which of my paninda <laughs> will be given as prize okay but uh definitely it will be nice for the kids to have uh, so, I will pay your effort naman for painting, okay? And then, uh, okay, everyone who will join that contest will get ebooks from me about watercolor. There will be three ebooks on watercolor I will give away via email. Just let me know which format you want, whether it's PDF, EPUB for iPad, or Mo that movie for those using Kindle. Just let me know the format. I will email that to you after the contest. Alright, so I will give the kids one week to paint this. I will also post this in the group, the mechanics and the price uh, later today. Well, at least the mechanics muna in this picture. I'm still deciding the price. And then uh, I will ask my artist friends to judge which, which, um, which artwork will win. Of course, kung merong tie, I will give both the price. Hindi na tayo magta-tiebreaker. That's uh, mahirap na yon. So, if there are two winners, fine by me. If there are one winner, if there's one winner, that's also good. Okay lang din. So, okay. I will post that later. Okay? But for now, let's work on our second donut. Okay, so, the second donut, now you have a round. Round donut. Top view of a donut. Okay? Just put a hole in the middle. Okay? So it doesn't need to be perfectly round because most of the time it's really not perfect. There you go. I'm just doodling, really. And then for your because the donuts usually is not perfectly rounded. I will show you again my plate of donuts. So if you notice, it's not perfectly round, diba? It's not perfectly round. Tapos yung middle niya, minsan maliit, minsan malaki. Yan. So, yan. So, hindi siya perfectly round. So, in order to make your painting more organic, 
just use your circle as a guide and sketch your donut somehow or somewhat following the circle outline but not really following it strictly there you go okay as you can see I have sketched squiggly lines around the circle and then right in the middle it's not really perfectly circular and I am totally fine by it because I want my donut to look organic now like I would do again but like, like what I did in my first donut, I am going to roll my kneadable eraser over it just to lighten the sketch because I don't want my pencil mark to be visible once I paint, once I'm done with my watercolor painting of my donut here. Okay, if you don't have a kneadable eraser, you can just use your ordinary eraser and just brush away the rubber and graphite okay I don't really recommend that you uh, that you uh, remove the, uh, the what you call that those residue of the eraser with your hand because your hands might be dirty and you, you want to keep your watercolor paper uh, you want to preserve the whiteness of your watercolor paper okay there you go so now let's um, let's color our donut okay? first um Let's just put another squiggly lines pala because you will have glaze over your donut, right? And the glaze of the donut is not really, does not really necessarily follow the roundness of your donut. So it can be like this. Okay? So now you have two lines. The outline of the donut itself, the bread part, and then the glaze. Okay? And then... I will lighten that again using kneadable eraser. There you go. And then just to remind me that there's going to be a shadow, I'll just lightly sketch um, a discrete line here just to indicate that the line is coming from this direction, hence there will be a shadowed part here. And then I will also sketch a, swig, um, a discrete line around here, or rather on this side. Just to indicate that there's going to be a shadow on the side. Okay? You get me so far? Okay, so let's now paint our donut. So let's use the bread color. The original bread color na ginamit natin kanina sa first donut. Let's use that to paint the bread around the donut. Lang sa water. Let me just add some water to this and let's just mix some more. So we will paint outside the glaze part. This is the glaze part, your inner outline. Mo, okay? So the glaze part, uh, let's let's paint the bread part of the donut, which is the the rim of this donut. See how much I love working on my painting using this round brush. Kasi nga, kaya niyang mag-paint ng thin lines as well as washes. So, washes again, yun yung mga uh, first layer ng colors. Okay? There you go. Oops! Nakulayan ko yung ano. <laughs> okay lang yan. <laughs> Sometimes my hands are not as steady as I want to. So this activity is actually good for your kids' motor skills, developing your uh, motor skills, and yung fine uh, motor skills. Yeah. So for you mommies then, if you observe that um, your motor skills are, you know, because as we age, diba, medyo parang nagkakaroon tayo ng dif uh, difficulty controlling our fine motor skill, or our fine motors, so maganda talaga ano, activity yung pain. I have already painted the, the donut part, the bread part rather. So let's now use again the pink color. Okay? 
Mamaya, I will teach you how to mix naman yung isa pang i-add natin sa donut na to. Okay? So, I'm using again my pink. The same pink ha, dun sa ginamit ko sa first donut. But if you want a different color for your second donuts, feel free to do that. You don't need to follow the colors I'm using for this. In fact, if you have other design of donut, you feel free to do that as well. And do let me know, do post your kids' output. I really love seeing them. Sinishare ko rin siya actually sa mga, ano ko, sa mga artist friends ko, yung mga work ng mga bata. Para ma-inspire niya sila magturo, no? I-share nila yung kanilang knowledge. So, may ganun, namilit. Okay. Here you go. I have, uh, I've, I've joined several groups kasi on watercolor. I am also officially a member of Philippine uh, Guild of Watercolorists. Colorist, colorists. So, PGW. So, that's um, a local um, group of... Artist, watercolor artist. Although I'm pretty new to watercolor painting, eh, inimbait ako eh, di sige. <laughs> Sabi ng ganun eh. <laughs> Why not coconut? Pero grabe, ang ganda ng mga work nila. para ako, oh my god, I love that work. Wala pa ako sa ganun mga skill eh. Yung mga ganun, yung mga self-judgment. Hindi ba? Nag-share pa ng sentimiento dito. Ayan! Okay, so again, I'm using pink lang then. But if you want other color, like uh, say uh, vanilla, for example. If you want your milky donut, yung vanilla, you can just mix white and a little bit of yellow. Pwede rin yun. For this uh, particular design, I will show you the design as we paint along. As you paint along with me. Okay? So let me just add another dab of color. You can see that the brush strokes are pretty random because you want your donut again to look organic and not and not look um, neat because in reality hindi naman talaga ganun kanit yung uh, mga donuts yung color nila okay there you go so that's light light pa yung color niya because that's our very first layer right so now let's go to This is already dry. So, dito na natin magagamit yung, uh, magagamit yung ibang kulay na nasa palette natin. Okay? So, we will paint yung katulad na ginawa ng sun ko, yung mga candies. Okay? In order to do that, I am going to use my smaller brush. Okay? If you got the kit, the kit also has a smaller brush. Yun yung purpose niya. Okay? Here, pakita ko lang yung smaller brush. Pwede niyo yung gamitin for for painting the candy sprinkles. And very easy lang naman yung stroke niya. You just get a color straight out of your pan. Like what I'm doing now. I'm getting the color straight out of my pan. For example, yellow, no? Here. Uh, if you know, if you observe kanina, yung, ano, yung donut, yung sprinkles niya hindi rin pare-pareho yung size. So, para, para mas easy for you, huwag niya lang di pare-pareho yung size. Ganun lang. Line lang. And then, randomly, ilagay mo lang on top of your glaze. Avoiding this uh, second donut kasi basa pa siya. Okay? So, I might need to rotate my painting in order to avoid my second painting na medyo basa pa. There you go. Ayoko na ng yellow. So, I will then use white. Wari, white chocolate siya. Uh, let's, uh, Okay, so again, the sizes will be different because again, the, the donut is curved and at the same time, hindi naman necessarily pare-pareho talaga yung size ng, ng, ano mo, ng sprinkles. Like kanina, yung donut namin, may ibang mahahaba, may ibang, ay, kulang sa water. Kailangan, okay, masayin ko lang yung brush ko. Kailangan din pala, when you're watercoloring na, basta dapat yung brush nyo ha, when you're getting paint straight out of the, the pan, Okay. Okay, let's uh, add some more right here. Okay, and then uh, let's use uh, what else? Let's use red. Why not? May mga red na candies here. Okay, this is the fun part. Yan. And then if you notice, I haven't added the 
bread color. We will fix that. Okay, let me just grab some red pa ule because naubos yung sa brush. Okay. What else? Green. Use your green. Kung may green kayo dyan, alam ko may green dyan sa palette ninyo. Or rather sa color set ninyo. Okay, so let's use green. I am using my green here. I'm getting green from my, straight out of my pan. Okay. So green naman. still following me kids how are you doing okay I hope you're having fun with this uh, tutorial uh, let's add some blue I know you have blue so use to your blue from your set okay okay so let's add some blue there you go and then very quickly I will add uh, sprinkles If you also want to add some texture in your watercolor painting of the donut, you can just cover your second donut and grab some color, pwedeng red or pink. It's up to you guys. It's either red or pink. Ako, I'm adding more red in my, um, in my mix, strawberry mix. And I will just, let me just cover the bread part here. And I will just add some spatter. Just for some texture. Just to indicate that it's not perfectly flat. Okay? Let me just get those um, rogue spatters outside of the donut. But ako, I don't mind if I have spatters outside my donut area. But let me just show you how to uh, remove that. It's by using brush wet with clean water. So, may slight pink na yung aking ano, um, water, kaya medyo nag, nagpipink na rin siya. And then, pink din yung spotter, kaya ganyan. And it, I'm, I'm fine with it because this is just a practice piece anyway. And then, you can also add some spotter in, your, in the bread part of your donut. Let me just show you how to do that. Again, spotter. Okay, let me cover my strawberry side. And add some spotter here. Just to add some texture in your donut. You, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Because uh, sometimes he, he, um, some newbies um, tend to fear doing this. Kasi nga parang, ah, you're destroying my artwork. No. Actually, it's not destroying your artwork. It's adding texture. But if you're not comfortable with doing that, it's totally okay. Okay, there you go. So now I have added, spa added spotter on my donut just to make it... Uh, it had to, to, to add some texture and then what I will do I will just paint the bread part here because I forgot to add that here okay because there's still bread here na visible dapat there you go ito lang kasi yung side ng bread na makikita mo not this side but this side there you go my first donut is done See how it looks three-dimensional just by adding shadows here and then adding shadows here, diba? Three-dimensional na yung donut mo. It doesn't look flat anymore. Okay, so now let's finish our second donut. I will add more reddish pink on this donut, second layer. Okay. <clears throat> add that here we're almost done by the way so if you have been painting since 9 a.m. and you're doing the second donut now congratulations kids good job okay we're almost done don't worry I didn't paint that evenly because there you go. Again, I want to look this as organic as possible. There you go. 
so while that is drying let me just show you how to mix chocolate because I want to add chocolate swirlies on my donut right so while this is drying let me just show you how to mix the chocolate okay for chocolate let me just um, show that here para makarelate yung mga nakabili ng kit sa akin so for that you need to choco brown is a combination of blue yellow red and black okay so let me just grab blue here and add some water blue and then red and then observe how it how the colors appear when you add red and blue here diba it becomes violet red and blue makes violet but that's not what we're going for we're going for um, chocolate brown so we will add some yellow see how that turned into um, muted violet let's add some more yellow okay so if you can see that it's almost chocolate it's almost cocoa brown but I will still need to add more yellow into this because I'm not yet happy add some more adjust accordingly add some blue add some red pa. there you go now I have um, chocolate and then I will add some dark colors such as my gray para mas makukuha siyang dark chocolate see so again what I add he added here is red blue yellow and a little bit just a little bit of black paint or paints gray or gray okay see now if you want to test if this is already chocolate there's one thing that you can do before you paint it over your painting just get a scrap paper and swatch it if you're happy then go for it if not adjust your color accordingly in my case I still want this darker and more red more red there you go and then perhaps a little bit of yellow pa. okay there you go okay so I think I need it I need more blue okay okay more blue and then more red Okay, so sometimes mixing really takes a while. You have to be patient about it. There are actually colors that mimic the color of chocolate. But I wanted you to learn how to mix your color because that's how artists do it. Okay, okay I think I'm okay with this one. So, is this dry? Assess first if your colors are already dry on your second... Um, donut if it's dry uh, then you can already paint your glaze but if hindi pa like in my case medyo dump pa siya I won't touch that I will do the shadows first so the shadow will be again the color gray that I mixed earlier the same shadow that I put on my first donut and I will just paint it on this section because the light is coming in from this way okay learn how to mix gray you can actually mix gray and black I'll show you later ha gamitin mo na natin tong paste gray but I will show you that there's a way to mix your own black and gray sige I'll show you later let me just let me just show you how to paint the shadow here okay there you go so may shadow ka na dito and then may shadow ka rin dito there you go it's not perfect I'm fine with that Okay, so medyo dimensional, three-dimensional na yung donut mo because meron ka ng shadow so underneath. Okay, and then let me just darken yung side na malapit sa donut mismo. Yung right, right beside the donut. And see how that color bleeds kasi basa siya. Okay, 
medyo dark masyado siya. I can fix that by adding some water in my brush and just doing this color. I'll just spread it out like that. There you go. And then let me just grab some of that color, excessive colors, and let's just add it here. See? Walang saya. Yan! Shadow na yung donut. Now it's dry, so let me just paint the, the swirly over your second donut. Over our second donut, okay? So I, I will grab my chocolate here, and I will just add it here. There you go. There you go. Oh, diba? Meron ka ng chocolate strawberry donut. Nakuha ba? You can still, you can also add other, ano ha, design for your donut. Ha? Yan, yan ay second donut. And then if you want, you can also spatter this donut. We just cover my first donut para hindi naman siya matamaan ng second spotter. And then I will just add some spotter in my donut. Okay? Para hindi ganun ka-even yung kanyang. And then let me just let me just clean the spotter, rogue spotters here. Tinanggal ko lang yung mga spotter here. But I'm fine if I have spotter on the shadow side and outside. Okay lang sa akin. I'm fine by that. Okay? So this is our final donut. Okay? Does it look 3D na? Because of the shadow? Type 2. If you're done with your second donut, type yes if you if it seems 3D to you. Kasi kung hindi, hindi sabihin, failed ako. <laughs> so, may ganun eh. I'm a failure. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No one is a failure when it comes to art. That's what the beauty of art. You can always do your art without judgment from your fellow artists. There you go. That's our donut. Okay? So, um... Uh, type repeat if you want me to announce again yung for sa mga nalit at hindi na napakinggan yung contest ay uh, rather yung challenge painting challenge please type repeat para sabihin ko ulit yung contest challenge otherwise you can always um, go back to this uh, group for announcement regarding the challenge I will wait for your comments for those who are done type uh, type 2 if you're done with uh, your second donut Type yes if these donuts look three-dimensional to you. Okay. Did the kids enjoy ba? <laughs> okay, wow. Congrats sa mga nag-type ng two. Congratulations. Actually, if your glaze, the chocolate glaze, dries flat or dries um, lighter, you can just add another layer. And if you want this to look three-dimensional, you can just add sa side, sa side lang. Hindi completely yung, hindi yung buong donut, add yung buong ano, itong glaze na ginagawa ko here. Just add some texture and onto it para magmukha siyang three-dimensional. See how I'm doing that? Okay? Okay? And it's okay if there's a spill here. Okay lang yan. Kunwari, nag-spill siya. That's totally, totally fine. Okay. There you go. Because your donuts are not always perfect. Okay? If you're not yet done, that's fine. Okay? Okay, let me just um, 
for those who missed the announcement, let me just repeat my announcement, okay? And then after that, we're done with our um, after the announcement, we're done with our painting session. So again, um, I am going to have a painting contest for the kids. They are, they will be asked to paint this. There will be six donuts in total. It doesn't need to look like this. It it can be any other donuts na design, so long as there are six. Uh, some of them are partial, just partial uh, picture of the donut. So, ganun din yung gawin ninyo. And then, add the grill underneath. Yun yung pinaka-challenging na part. Okay? And then, there are spilled over na glaze and uh, here. And then, of course, the tile. Um, paint these donuts. And uh, for a week, bibigyan ko kayo ng one week to do that. Everyone who joins the challenge, I uh, will win free ebooks from me about watercolor painting. Those are three books na ipapadala ko sa inyo via email. Just let me know the format. It can be in .movie for Kindle users, .epub for those who are using the iPad, or PDF for those using other uh, tablets. Okay? And then, for the grand winner, uh, it will be decided by, uh, I will send your kids our artwork, yung picture dun sa friends ko, na watercolorist, and I will let them choose which one uh, gets the major, uh, the, the, the grand prize. I will announce uh, later then siguro yung grand prize and the, the mechanics for this painting challenge. It's a painting challenge, it's open to everyone, it's not a requirement. <laughs> I will not kick you out of the group if you don't join. <laughs> But uh, do join because uh, I'm already thinking of a good price for this challenge. It will also help reinforce uh, your kids, uh, what, what the kids learned today about painting, donuts in three dimensions, and as well as yung pagmimix ng colors. So it's actually more on how they will apply their learnings by painting a reference photo. Okay? So... Yun lang, okay? If you're done with your painting, congratulations, pat your backs because this has been uh, a bit challenging because kailangan mo mag-mix ng color and all that. Um, and also put the shadows where they should be depending on the source of light. So, yun yung mga main learnings here. As well as, you know, painting, the sketching, donuts, the donuts here, yung oval and the round. Donut. top view and medyo slightly side view nitong donut na to. So with that, I conclude uh, this live session. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, please, um, please wait for the update on the paint challenge, painting challenge and the prizes. Keep visiting this group. I will also announce it. Turn on notifications for this group. And I am grateful to you guys for joining this Paint With Me session via Facebook Live. Stay safe and healthy. God bless you all. I Please, uh, please um, paint your anxieties away using watercolors, especially the ones that you got from me, new kits. Okay, so bye for now. Bye everyone. Take care.